All right, gang. Here's the uh, here's some SS uh, stuff I've, I've, I've picked up. Here's some. Uh, these are really interesting. There's a Panzer salt badge I picked up. You know, and at first I, th I thought this was a fake, but some really knowledgeable folks told me it was a real one. And uh, and then this is this one I, I thought for sure was a fake is 50, but it turns out it's it's the real deal. I was really amazed. But uh, you know, there's uh, these fantastic books that you can buy, and. Uh, they just go into total detail on uh, on the fakes and the real ones and all that stuff. And this is this one I'm almost certain is a fake, but uh, I thought it'd be a neat piece to have just because it's uh, it's always good to have some fakes in your collection just so you can compare them to the originals. Because uh, I mean, if all you ever see all day are just fakes, then you have no idea what the originals are, and vice versa. But uh, I thought that was kind of neat. So. Genuine, genuine fake. Real neat, real neat stuff. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep uh, finding original stuff. And then here's that SS dagger I got. It's uh, now the dagger actually. This dagger actually went with, with that scabbard, but uh, you know, a guy sold me this uh, 1936 chain uh, scabbard and chain. And I thought that was pretty neat, and so that well, I just buy that and add it to the to the blade. It's kind of neat. It didn't go with this originally, but it's a neat piece. It's it's really hard to see in these photos the uh, the markings on the back. Uh, you, there is some. See, oops, there it went. Yeah, see, there's some sort of oddball mark. I'm not sure what it says, but uh, real neat. And there's his number. This was a numbered SS dagger, 71646. Pretty neat, huh? And then, uh, you know, I think uh, a guy had contacted me or vice versa, and he said that this dagger belonged to some guy that was part of the, the racial resettlement office. So it's like that's uh, I don't know Ku Klux Klan type shit for the Nazis or whatever, but uh, amazing piece of history. Mine, yeah. Is that neat? Anyway, there it is. That's the uh, the SS dagger. I got no desire to sell anything, so don't even bother. You know, ask me to sell stuff. I can just you know, money comes and goes. It ain't important to me. Um, here's some SS tunics I picked up. These are really neat, and uh, you know the problem is if you ever post stuff on on whatever it is YouTube or anywhere, you know you've got every 10 minute expert telling you, oh your original shit you picked up from the vets a fake. Well, these are not fakes, and this one's got the uh, wound badge on it. It's got the runes, and I think the yellow uh, is uh, signals, I think, but uh, really neat. Really neat, high quality uh, tunic. And there's the eagle. Yeah. Yeah, there's really amazing stuff. Um, so this is a wool eagle. And there's a Demyangst uh, shield. You know, if you have an interest in history, I'd really, really encourage you to look this stuff on the up on the internet. It's just fascinating to, to learn about this stuff. Yeah, there's a one pip insignia on that guy. Um, I guess we ought to open it up, take a quick look, huh? Um, and there's a EK1, no, EK2, really, if I'm right. I'm not an expert, just a collector. So there's the liner of this guy. I used to always think that SSBW stuff was some sort of phony Hollywood stamp, but no, that was the real deal. You could see where it's kind of faded away. But uh, there is the tunic. Really neat, really neat, really neat. And uh, and here's the uh, here's the other guy. 
that one's another SS rune, yellow piping signals, and uh, God, just amazing stuff, isn't it? This one's got a more of a gray liner. But uh, anyway, gang, there it is. Just a couple pieces I've picked up. Like I said, no interest in selling anything. I have absolutely no interest in selling anything or at any price. Money don't mean shit to me, buddy. You know, really amazing pieces of history. Um, anyway, but if you do have uh, stuff like this you're wanting to sell, uh, I always pay top dollar. I'm a collector. Not a dealer, I buy them, I keep them. They go into my collection. You know, you're not going to see them back on Facebook or eBay or whatever to resell them. I just buy them and keep them. And there's the Panzer Salt badges. Fascinating stuff. And there's the uh, SS Dagger with the 1936 scabbard. I'm not really sure who would have gotten one of those versus just getting the, the regular one. I don't know about that. I don't know enough about these to, to tell you. But not all of them were numbered, but uh, quite a few were. And and I, I came across an SA dagger that was actually numbered. So I guess even the SA dagger, some of them were numbered. But uh, anyway, gang, hope you like seeing some old history. Um, let me know what you think. And if you got any of this stuff you want to sell, just let me know. I'm always buying. I'm in the United States. And... Uh, We'll see you on the next YouTube.